I am a mocha mom and I am back with mocha baby to update you on the section of hair she chopped here. She did it in October of I believe 2013 when she turned, no 2012 when she turned three. And this is the first time I am doing a style where I'm not trying to hide the hair that was chopped. It takes a long time for the hair to grow back. She chopped it all the way down to almost a teeny weeny afro. Maybe maybe two inches, an inch and a half, and it's it was different lengths in different areas. But we did twist in her hair. And what I was doing in the past was I just want to show them the twist. My hair is gonna go in my yeah, yeah, a lot of girls like that. But um, in the past, what I've been doing is cornrows or sectioning her hair in a way that the longer hair would mix with the shorter hair and you wouldn't really be able to tell. Twist, let it all hang out. So this is how much it's grown in all that time. It's grown down to her chin. <laughs> and of course, twist shrink but you know that's why I cut my hair you cut your hair because you didn't want it to be long yes well you know I have no problems with short hair my all time favorite the teeny weeny afro but if you want to cut your hair let's cut it in a way that makes sense the little chop job that you did didn't really make too much sense <laughs> so now her hair looks kind of like I gave her a bang <laughs> We're finally okay all this time later. Are you going to ever cut your hair like that again? Uh, no. No. You're going to wait till you have some skills, right? Say bye to everybody. So bye. be patient. Be patient. It'll grow back. Bye.